So, hey guys, I haven't uploaded in like six months. Or more, or less, I have no idea. Basically, it's been a shit ton of time since I last uploaded, and um, I am back now, officially back. Um, hopefully, I want to speak again. But in this video, we'll be actually setting up um, Disorder Activities, because the API came out not a while ago, like three months ago, and um, it kind of looks really cool. Um, you could actually set up Unity games with it as well, which is what we did. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. So if you have Unity game, you wanted to play on Discord, here we are. I'm about to show you how to do that. Um, so yeah, let's begin. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually setting up a Vite project because I don't know if you know this, Vue.js, not Vue.js, Discord activities are just websites in simple terms. I know this is more complicated. It is basically just a web view it is just like a web app that just runs on the that's called uh, sdk but in general it is going to be just a website so you can technically use any framework you really want to use i'm going to be using you know uh, vue.js you could use react you could use plain old javascript it doesn't really matter so what we're going to basically be doing is actually create ourselves a vite project so just install it this just installs all the required packages to run what we're trying to run there you go and now if we do npm dev we run ourselves a development um build of the website so right now it's a website we don't want it to be a website we wanted to run a discord so how do we do that well first what you want to do is actually go to the discord dev portal which is this handy thing over here create a new application uh, just name it whatever you really want and you will see something like this what we are interested in the bottom left where it says activities press get started and set it up which should be, uh, look like this later on there we go we have published url mapping settings are assets uh, <coughs> for now um, what we're interested in is to go to auth2 uh, we need to actually first set up a redirect so set it up and set up the url you want it to be in this scenario it's okay just to put localhost uh, so just do that and then we have client information which is the client id and the client secret for this tutorial we need the client id so just copy that for now and let's go back to visual studio code uh, there you go so let's just turn off the server real quick just put control c and y and we will need to basically install the sdk so you install the SDK, it is npm install at discord slash embed app slash SDK. So just do that and that should now in install the discord SDK, which is the thing that actually lets us embed this into discord. Then we will need to go to a file called uh, main.js, uh, which is located in source. And we need to import ourselves the library. So to import it, we're basically going to do import Discord SDK from a Discord embed app SDK, as easy as this. And then we actually need to then instantiate it or basically an instance of it, which is done like this. And inside here is going to be your client ID. So just put it into there. And then after that, we need to create ourselves a function that will run as soon as Discord SDK is basically hooked on. So to do that, we do AZ async function setup setup discord as sdk and then inside here we're going to do awaits discord sdk dot ready and this will now basically set up our discord app so if we try to do um, npm run dev which we would try to do now and then we try to launch it you will quickly see that we, um, it's broken. It doesn't work. Why does it not work? Well, because if we go into the terminal, you see that it gives us frame ID query parameters not defined and it's something to do with Discord SDK. That's because we can no longer view the website as a website because it's not technically longer able to be run through here. It's looking for the Discord framework, basically. So we will, we will be able to run it as a activity but not just yet because we need to get uh we need to actually get a network tunnel so according to the discord's official docs for this we're going to be using something called cloud flared which if you just search up it online um 
that's a GitHub, you need to install this. So just, I'm gonna have this in the description below for you guys to install. But basically scroll down, find yourselves Windows installation here, and then just install it via the terminal, which is just copy it and then paste it into a command prompt as is. If you give me a second, boom, just do this and that installs it onto your system. And that is basically how you install Cloudflare, which is what we need. So after you've installed Cloudflare, uh, what you want to do is Cloudflare tunnel dash dash URL local source 5173. What this basically does, it listens for this specific URL. So just press enter. And now it's going to set up our Cloudflare tunnel. And what we're interested in is this URL down here. So I just control click on it, open it. And now we're able to actually, you know, open it through here. So what we're going to do basically now is copy this, go back to your Discord dev. And then over here where it says URL mappings, this will be empty for you. But what you want to do is just paste it onto here and save your changes. Basically, now it's telling when someone opens the Discord activity, it is just going to redirect it to here. Basically, it's going to allow it to be run from here. So now we can officially actually run the Discord activity. So if we go down here and press choose activity, choose this activity. Uh, there we go. We have now a website that runs through a Discord. Obviously, that's not what we need, because as I said, we kind of want to run a game through Vue.js. So this is where the second part of the setup comes in. It's actually setting up Vue to be able to run Unity. So before we actually do, make sure you export your Unity game as a WebGL game since we won't be able to run the executable from um, Vue.js. So make sure you export it as a WebGL game and it should look something like this. This is basically what we are given. We don't need this and we don't need these two so you can basically ignore these but where it says build we do need this so just move it on to um, the public folder in your view project and now we have it saved up here. The next thing we need is once again close your server because we no longer need it for now and we're going to install a library called unity-webgl this library basically lets Vue.js run webgl games so just install the package once again and while that happens we are going to go to app.view because we need to clean most of the stuff out for example we don't need to import hello world and we will delete all of this because we want it to be just a blank canvas and then also delete the style scope because we don't really need any styles here as well. So what we do next is at the top of this page, we're going to import WebGL. So we're gonna do import Unity Web GL, if I can actually spell, because I can never spell, because I am on a laptop, because my PC broke, yippee doo. And then we're gonna do Unity um, dash Web GL. And this will import the first part of the library that we need. And then the second part is going to be view unity, which it basically takes advantage of the view part of the library. And now we imported both of these. What we need to do next is um, we need to actually, we need to basically create an instance of the unity game. So to do this, I'm going to leave all this code, by the way, in the description below. You're gonna see a lot of code wrench links that's basically what all the code is and if you want to copy and paste it feel free to do so um but yeah we're gonna copy and paste this and this basically is going to fetch all of these files you see in the build folder which are all just game information as you can see down here and after that we're going to lastly just um put this down over here and that should now every time this script will run it will just instantiate the unity project but um, if you don't know about view this will basically not really do anything at the moment because we need to actually we need to render it into our website so to do that we're going to do uh, view unity and inside here we're going to do dash unity is equals to unity context which is what we just created that's basically the instance width and then you can choose the width um, what you want it to be I'm going to do 1280 by 720 so let's just do that and let's just close it so now this will now just load our game up so now we're going to do npm run dev that creates uh optimize blah, blah 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 but yeah this basically ran that and now if we just reset our activity 
Um, choose activity, activity, it should now run the Unity game. There we go. I don't know why it looks that weird. What the hell? Did I mess it up? Give me a second. But you can practically see that our Unity game <laughs> is loaded in. It just for some reason is not rendering at the correct resolution. Um, that's why it's 720. So if we just there we go so as you can now see our game is now loaded in and we can play it and then basically all your unity game features should work fine if it's a multiplayer game another person could start the activity and hopefully join you in multiplayer um however if you want to do other stuff like sharing client information between each other you can do that via the unity docs which has a lot of information on it but yeah, that's how basically you create and just import the Unity game. Um, this game is really broken currently, as you can probably see. I have not worked on this in like... But other than that, I hope you guys actually found this video educational. I hope that's actually right. And I will have more tutorials coming along with other stuff you can do. For example, one of the suggestions is to make a better, be better version of Rhythm. Because currently Rhythm just sucks ass. Yes, it came back, but it's like pay to win. Not pay to win it's like pay to actually do anything so um i will probably make a tutorial on how you can make your own version of rhythm do a discord activity free to use and other people can interact with it but that seems like a bigger project and yeah and also thinking of just doing vgs tutorials because vgs is cool but other than that, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please subscribe if you did. Join our wonderful Discord community, which will absolutely help you with any issues that you have. Um, all the video URLs are in the description below um, for the code, etc. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys had a great time and I'll basically see you another time.